Just got off work and we are packing up to go to one of my favorite local honey holes. It's a really beautiful waterfall with a swimming hole. Tons of people visit it every year and I think that there's a good chance that we can find some jewelry by metal detecting in and around it. It's really, really awesome place. I can't wait to show you. Let's roll. <laughs> I almost forgot I should probably change into my swimming gear. There, that's better. Where are we going today? Waterfall. This is also a really good area for us to look for some caves and do some exploration for maybe some different types of Indian artifacts and arrowhead hunting. Um, it's all public land though, so again with the artifact stuff, you can't remove it. It's okay to find it and leave it and get pictures and cool stuff like that, but we can't take it anywhere. So I think I'm gonna take a flight up the canyon as well and uh, do some scouting while we're here too. Let's go. dying to see what's under the waterfall. I am too. I just gotta commit to this cold water first. Let's go. Oh, the boys. Oh, the boys. That's disappointing. You can't see the bottom. Be worth getting the detector out a little bit. What you doing? Gold panning. Gold panning? Mm -hmm. I hope you get a big one. You see any gold? No. No nuggets? No. Dang. Got a fun little life hack for you. If you own a CTX and you do a lot of water hunting, you know that you have to take this guy off like all the time. And you always like have to find a coin or whatever. Instead, Use that little guy on your headphones to go ahead and turn that. Bam. Look at that. That's what I do. I've set up a special hunting pattern on the CTX 3030. It's a really, really narrow discrimination pattern that hopefully is gonna block out a lot of the stuff that I don't wanna find, like clad and pull tabs and ring pulls, things like that. I'm after gold rings today.
Don't forget to check out my new book, The Metal Detecting Bible. It'll help you find cool places like this, and it'll help you find cool stuff once you get there. The link is in the description box below. Thanks. <laughs> I just found something really awesome. I'm not gonna announce it to everyone. I'm just gonna kinda sneak off over here and show you guys. Check that out. That's what it's all about right there. That water is a lot deeper than it looks. It drops off really quickly. As you can see, that's the kind of stuff I've been trying to dig through. With all this rock. But it paid off. I'm freezing, I'm gonna go dry off. I'm gonna call this a win and go home. I'll be back next time maybe with some scuba gear because it's really hard to hold my breath and go down and dig uh, multiple times to try and retrieve a single target. Um, and I, there wasn't very many targets down there that I know of. Maybe there's a lot more if I get scuba gear. Thanks for watching, see you next time.